Hello, everybody. It is I, Lord Macintosh, and my detox of the data battles has reached a conclusion. So now I'm just waiting for Spider-Man 2, which is going to be coming out in a few days. I think five days to be exact. And we also got to wish a happy 10 ye 100 years of to Disney Animation. I want. I just watched the Once Upon a Studio, and it was amazing. And one thing that amazed me the most is they got some deceased voice actors to reprise their role. Like, they got archival recording. My favorite one had to be Robin Williams, where they got him... They got him to return as the genie in a posthumous post role. Honestly, I would be playing GTA right now. Rockstar's servers aren't working, or so I, I've been told. I don't know if it's work. I don't know if it's work. Work it. They're not working, or my game system just decided. Nah, maybe you should take. Maybe you should play something else for a change. So um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think it's safe to say that I'm going to uh, do it some Monster Jam, even though I don't nobody. I don't know if anybody even watches this stuff anymore. So anyway, let's see what we got. I'm gonna add something here. No way, no, no, no. No, 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 wait. Quick play. Let's do a two wheel skills thing. Let's do it in Detroit. And then we will choose. I'll try to choose which truck I should use. Uh. Hmm. And we're gonna start with. We're gonna start with Max D, because Tom Mentz announced a little bit ago that he'll be retiring at the end of the 2024 season. And to me, he was one of my favorites when I. I was a fan of Monster Jam when it, Monster Jam was on the Speed TV era, and hearing him that he's gonna retire from competing, he's not retiring from, he's retiring from competing, but he's gonna be the new stunt coordinator, because now he, Thomas goes by the name of the Professor in Monster Jam. Also, I'm glad he got to at least add two more titles to his name. Okay, two wheels. Watch this. That's not what I wanted. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We're going to do that again. We are going to do that again. There we go. Yeah! Oh, look at that. Look at this! Oh, wait to the crowd. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Oh, no, no, no! Ah. Look at this! Shimmy, shimmy to the crowd! Okay. Alright. How did I not... Okay. No. Okay, that had to be impressive. Come on. What? Three? Whatever game. Screw freaking you. I'm number one. It was continue. We're going to do freestyle now. We're gonna freestyle, same place, same truck. As I, as freestyle is my flipping jam. Oh, the pyro, the pyro. I'm gonna say this about Monster Jam, the, the, the championships. 
I watched a two wheel skills challenge. They aired it on YouTube. They only aired it. They only had their competitors have one chance to do a two wheel skill. Like, why only one chance? I'm, was it was it because they were pressing for time or something? I have no idea. Honestly, it did feel fair to other people that everybody, in all the Monster Jam scenarios, they each got two opportunities. In each Monster Jam round, I believe they got two scenarios. They got they got two opportunities. They got two opportunities, not just one. And there's some people that look like they deserve the redo. Some people did deserve a redo. Some people did deserve a redo in some way, shape, and form. It's honestly, it's baloney that some people didn't get the chance to do it twice. Uh oh! Maxwell backflip! Nailed it! That was a big air! They're coming! Oh, that's not good. How about for some cyclones? Just stop it! Oh, that's not good. to rob this game is out to rob me also I want to let you know I'm doing this while also watching Encanto but I got the volume turned down really low I didn't want to I hope you guys are hearing Encanto through my if that if you guys are hearing that I'm gonna be so ashamed anyway time for let's do Arlington so let's do uh no, let's do the least tenured monster mutt, Junkyard Dog. Like most, like from what I hear, Junkyard Dog did not have the had the shortest tenure of any monster mutt. So um, mm -hmm. I had no idea what is going on. This sounds like something out. This sounds like something that McGruff, the, uh, the police dog, would be wearing. Oh, wow. Okay, we got. We got a key. Watch this. Look at this. Okay. That was weak. I'm gonna try that again. Let's do it. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna walk it. No, what? This is my game, my rules. Look at that. Oh my god, Junkyard Dog has the weakest body in the entire Monster Jam. In this entire Monster Jam game. Why is my... 
Why is Monster Mutt? Why is Monster Mutt Junkyard Dog have the weakest body? Don't go waving. You lost it. Why is the match to come back on too? Anyway, this is Arlington. Okay. Anyway, free freestyle. Arlington. We're just gonna keep the same truck. Cause I decide I do admit the the logo is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Anyway. Three, two, one. So what's a bigger? Oh, what a slap, Willie! I want a freaking slap, Willie. Anyway. Uh oh. Hold on a second. Actually, guys, wait here. I gotta watch this again. I'll be right back.
Sorry, sorry about that. I just had to see that again. I'm a Disney guy, okay? I'm a Disney guy. Anyway. If, if this was Monster Jam, they'd probably cut me off. Like, your, your freestyle is done, bro. It's either, it's either you pay attention to the event, or we're gonna shut off the R Turn on the remote, remote ignition interrupt. Oh, God. No! 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 You spin my head right around. Wait a minute. Back with baby. Back with baby. Oh, that was 0, 0.0 seconds left on the clock. I have my favorite move. The Cyclone Stopping. Oh, that one is a disaster. And I rolled it over. That's a good way to end the freestyle run. Anyway, what's next? What's that next on the ye old agenda? Hmm. Two wheel skill. Okay. <sighs> Not now. Anyway. Ooh, San Diego, yes. San Diego. And dead. Hmm. Zombie. We gotta do zombie. I just don't know why. Some of zombie just speaks right with me. Of all the monster trucks I've seen, this one has to be the creepiest. No, 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 we're not starting off that way. We're not starting off that way. We're not starting off rolling on our lid. I'm getting this slap really down. This is my rules. The move still goes on. Oh, that's awkward. I was second place. That's worse than a. 
and I didn't win on technicality, apparently. I don't like winning on technicality. I want to win. No, I'll win in freestyle in San Diego. Where's San Diego? There it is. Ah! Oh, so I'm sounding a lot better. Cross red, that's not a big cross, that's not good. Ow. That hurt. Cross red. Come on. I've already lost most of my bot. I always lost most of Zombie's body. Just a one run, of just a few hits. Like, how is that even plausible? Top of my pad move, top of my bear move. First place, baby. That's a come. That's what you call a comeback. That's what you call a comeback, baby. Anyway, time for another two. Hmm. Detroit? No, we did Detroit. Let's do this, Detroit. <clears throat> Nope. Let's do Backwards Bob. I remember this truck. I saw it on Speed TV and Mike Wine drove this truck. I have no idea why they... From what I hear, the, apparently the chassis got destroyed in a fire. That's why we haven't seen it in a while. I don't know if that story's true or not. But hey, who knows? We'll probably never know the true story. What happened to Backwards Bob? But I know there's another truck out there called Wrong Way Rick. It's a monster jam. If you see Wrong Wrong Way Rick, bring Ron Wrong Way Rick into Monster Jam. Okay. Wait a minute. Look at Backwards Bob with a nice slap wheelie!
So that's how Ryan Anderson did it. You just have to give it some throttle. Why didn't you teach me this, Ryan Anderson? There we go. Matt Tosh does it again. This time with some awesome wheelie action. Anyway, freestyle time. De oh wait. Detroit. Anyway, go. Go! Sheesh. I anyway, yeah, yeah, do the little intro thing. Do the little intro thing and get on with your life. There you go, Stoppy. That was a nice backflip, mini backflip. Oh, I lost it. I lost the entire thing of body already. How did I lose the entire body already? It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, like I said, I, like I said at the beginning, I'm just doing this to prepare for Spider-Man 2. Also, I may be making a few major changes to this channel. As I've honestly noticed that my past few videos have not got, have barely got any views and get no views at all. Not that it's not crushing to me, but it just goes to show that I guess people don't really want to see me mess stuff up at GTA Online. So um, I gotta figure, I gotta up my game a bit. Who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll figure out some way to up my game. Oh, come on, that was a good move. That was a good move. And it's on high note with my cyclone stopping. I wish they could just let you stay rolled over. In my, I had a Monster Jam game for PS2 that if you stay rolled over for like a few seconds, they would end your run. Fortunately, I don't think we don't want... Some people don't want that. and I get it. But, but hey, if you want an authentic Monster Jam experience, sometimes they... Sometimes they had to end your run prematurely, okay? And who's next? Crazy Creatures. Octonator. They brought back Jurassic Attack. Jurassic Attack looks more like a cyborg now than more than anything. Uh, uh. No. Not doing that one. Hmm. Let's do this one. Megalodon Overcast. Inspired by Jaws. Yes, I said it. Inspired by freaking Jaws. Wait, what? Am I not wrong? It basically was inspired by Jaws. I'm calling it now. Megalodon. Inspired by Jaws. Oh, I do admit this theme song, the intro, the introduction song to Megalodon is rather, 
creepy, to say the least. Hello, everyone! That camera. Anyway. Oh, no, no, no. I can't see if this oriented. I know what to do. First place of freestyle now. Did they want to screw me over? Shame on them. Shame on them. It was Las Vegas. All, all this music. I do admit one thing: this music is cringe. It's cringe as if. Okay, I think it, okay, that's not very nice. Uh oh, I'm gonna do my move now. Watch out for the reverse flip. <laughs> Time for a regular backflip. Yes, yes. Now for my cyclone stop it, baby. For your support, I will sign autographs down by, by kiosk, kiosk, whatever. Anyway, two real skills. Let's just go to Orlando. We need a well known truck to deal with this. A legend, huh? 
A legend, you could say. Grave Digger, the legend. That truck honestly was cool when it debuted. I remember they chose Adam Anderson to drive it. Makes sense, because his dad, Dennis Anderson, drove gra the Grave Digger. Made sense that he drive the legend. Well, now he drives great D Grave Digger because Dennis retired. So um, we gotta respect. <laughs> gotta respect it. Honestly, he hasn't been doing too bad. Actually, and, and Grave Digger. Not it's not his first stint. His dad got injured like way back in the early 2000s, and Adam replaced. Him for a little short stint. Okay. No. No, 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 that does not count. We're not gonna have him be this far off the list. applause till the very end and I will sign autographs later anyway freestyle time freestyle time in Orlando of course we gotta drive the legend we, we gotta why not Watch this. Big air! Okay. the barrel roll. What time for my reverse flip, baby? A Matt Touch Classic. That failed. Number of Dan Evans. Come on, that was a nice reverse move. You see, that doesn't count. That was a nice reverse move. All right, time for some 
super awesome cyclones from yours truly. Going the other way. Thank you! Thank you for your support! I'm the Monster Jam Champion of the World. Anyway, the top of two wheels. Let's take it to... Hmm... Oakland? Let's go to Oakland! Give Oakland one moment of retrieval. Anyway, defenders... Ooh, Bakugan! Yes. That's an awesome truck, honestly. Baku Bakugan Dragonoid. So sorry. Bakugan Dragonoid. Why is Bakugan's intro sound so weird? It's just a Bakuga, 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 Bakugan. Am I even pronouncing it right? If I'm not pronouncing it right, do I even deserve to try this truck? But the guy who drives this truck is actually a stock car racer. I'm surprised he doesn't have a championship under his belt. I think he went up years ago when they had a Scooby Doo win. No, say it. You will get first place of freestyle. We are get first place of freestyle. I'm not backing out from this ch that challenge until you guys say so. Anyway. Freestyle. Uh, where's Oakland? Uh, Oakland? Oakland! So, before we go near the end of my run, I need to take a picture of, uh, with the Bakugan Dragonoid. I may use his picture as a thumbnail. Who knows? I'll probably use plenty of trucks as a thumbnail. Oh, that was a that would be a broken tie rod. In, in the old my days of Monster Jam, they call that this a cross thread. I'm serious, they call this a cross thread. Nice cross thread by Lord Matintosh. Look at that. Also, if I recall, in the one year's Monster Jam World Finals, near the end of Bakugan Dragonoid's run, he hit a jump. There was a <clears throat> like a sound. The front of, it, end of his truck ended up on top of his roof. Not kidding. Alright, time for a cycle stop, eh?
Okay, pause. Photo mode. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold up pose. Hi overlay. Hell yeah. I think so. I tried to stop it. Yeah, Camden Murphy. Celebrate with the crowd. I got you a victory, bro. Hope you're happy. And another two real skills. Where next? Glendale. Then next up on the on the list. Oh, formerly known as an Escalade, the Mohawk Warrior. I I honestly loved an Escalade. I thought his truck, even though it was all it's just a black, it looked like it's just a black van with monster truck tires. The spinning wheels on that truck were cool. Like, come on. You can't argue with the fact that, that that truck was insanely amazing. Let's give it a nice thumbs up in the chat for an Escalade and the Mohawk Warrior. Alright, alright, let's see what we can do here. Wait. No. Wait. Come on. You gotta go grip somewhere. No, I lost a Mohawk already. Seriously? first attempt. I think Bryce Kenny will be proud of me. Bryce Kenny will be proud of me. Anyway, if I were to play Monster GTA Online, I probably would just... I want to say this. If I were to get to just play GTA Online, I would just try to find some money to add to my awesome room at the casino. So, um... Why am I sorry with this? Bryce Kenny? You're gonna see this me be the awesomest freestyler in all of the land. Go. Wait, boy, Warrior is in the sidelines. How is he there when I'm here? Well, at least I still have the Mohawk. Here 
Yes! Look at these mad stunts. These mad stunts are done by a person who has many, many knowledge of Monster Jam. My Mohawk! Ruin, it's gone! Oh, that hurt. No, no, no. We're not ending it like that. I'm going to win this event even if it kills me. I'm gonna leave first I owe you guys some for uh having you guys watch literally six minutes of me watching a Disney special while on stream. So um Yeah, I owe you guys that much. Oh crap. No, I don't want the beacon. Top four. Oh, is it that time already? Hell yeah. No, not what I was looking for, but okay. Back up, baby. There we go. Stop it. No, I'm winning. I am winning. I'm not leaving this until I win. No ands, if, ors, or buts about that. Go big air, no problem. I did a barrel roll in midair. Go, go, go. Oh, come on, that's your counted. Try that again. Seriously. All that for nothing. If 
Time for some cycle and stoppies. Yep. Oh yeah, that's good. That was impressive! They shut me down. My run's over. Honestly, today's RIIs. Today's officials are kind of overreactive at times. Like, they decide, oh, he's not gonna. Oh, he's on, his, he's on two wheels. We gotta shut him down. He's not gonna make it. Let's, let's do an arena. No. Another nightmare. Actually, let's do... Hmm. Another nightmare. Let's go back to Vegas. And... Cam McQueen... He drove Northern Nightmare and he did a corkscrew in it. So, um, let's bring Northern Nightmare back to the World Finals. I think everybody would love that. Ha. <sighs> okay. Much better now. I'm much freaking better. Anyway. All right, all right, let's see what else we can do. Yes! I did it! A nice, gentle fronte flippe from the Northern Nightmare. Okay. Las Vegas. Come on. I'm ready. We're on board. I wasn't ready for that. No matter, I still get bigger off this first jump. Watch this. That save.
Uh oh. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna do it again. No. I'm not failing. There we go. There we go. Uh, cycle time. That's highway robbery times 10. I had that in the palm of my hand and you decide, nah, he's gonna be tied for a second. And we're gonna make him lose just to rub it in his face. San Diego 2, oh. No what truck we could use here. Mm. Yes. The black El Toro Loco. Even though we're always seeing like one El Toro Loco. We're not seeing, uh, we're seeing one like one colored El Toro Loco. Like one colored. Don't know why I guess they decided to color, retire the color schemes. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Come on, give me something to work with, give me something to work with. Not what I wanted at all. Okay, a little worse for wear, but I'm okay. Let's see here, continue. That was San Diego 2, I believe. Oh, here it is. Why put me in the middle of a track? Like put me, like have me um, pull in from the sideline like all the other trucks are. But I remember was that they let some trucks pull right from their parking space. Right from the parking space.
Uh-oh. Lost my... Well, Tor Logo already lost his horns. Go, 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 go. Ow, oh, that was a bad bounce. First clip of awesomeness. Now that's how you end the run on a high note. A very impressive backflip corkscrew attempt done to perfection. Even though that wasn't done very well. No, we gotta keep doing two wheels. All right, let's do an arena. Let's do Grand Digger. I'm gonna show Tyler Meninga and he may be the two wheel skills champ, the newest one. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show him how it's done. The Tyler Meninga, take lessons from Lord Matintosh. He's been watching Monster Jam ever since he was a little kid. And since my elementary school days. Tyler, don't take this as trash talk. Take this as motivation. Up your game. They robbed me. They want to do that and rob me, Wichita? All right, I'm going to wow you freestyle now. Hurry up, I want to wow these people in ways no way can get wowed. Bring it on, baby. Save it. That's how it's saved. That's how you do a save.
this is how you do a nice stoppy rebound. Big air right here. The crowds go wild already. Try to get a backflip. That's a backflip for the ages. See this, Dennis Harrison? I make you proud. Make you. But just so you know, I really like what you kids are doing in the Monster Jam circuit. My, really impressive. Especially with the newest edition, Weston. He did a little thing I call, we, some Monster Jam fans will call, oh god, a moon screw. We literally did a moonwalk into a corkscrew. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Huh. Okay, gotta choose what next. Time for some more two wheel skills. Let's choose. All right, let's do Will Sparrow. Up. Uh, Yeah, let's do Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath, the Dragon was actually a really cool truck. I, I, th I don't think it's running in the Monster Jam circuit anymore. I think they retired it. To me, I thought it was a really, really cool truck. this stop it no I want to stop it I want to stop it Okay, I'm I am being I'm doing a lot better than I thought I was. fire in your face now. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure doing this for you all. Wilkes Barrow, let's do freestyle. Well. Ah! There we go. 
I'm happy now. Anyway. Must be victorious here and not give it in. Oh, craps to a car. This car, that car threw me off. Now I can only drive. Well, that was a corkscrew. You don't think that was a corkscrew? That was a 180. That's how it's done. In style. Take notes. I want to exam on this. Nah, not really. Okay, let's do Portland. Question is, who's next? Blue Thunder. Blue Thunder, I remember. There was another Blue Thunder who was in the Monster Jam, sir. Who was in the original Monster Jam. Fun truck. I remember the driver was Lindsey Wink. He was a really entertain. Like he was, he's probably one of the greatest drivers to not have a championship. I'm surprised he doesn't have a championship under his belt. He needs one, like pronto. Then they bring back Blue Thunder. This Blue Thunder. But... Crap. I forgot. I forgot it's not freestyle. It's two wheels. Uh. Anyway. Try to do a little backflip of transition. No. Uh, that's not how I wanted it to go. 
no matter, I will. I'll follow up in my next two wheels. Crap, where was that? Portland. Just get on with it. I want to do great things. That was awkward, but I'll take it. Supremely awkward. Watch this. I did. I did something. Now I was going for exactly, but okay. What happened? I'm trying to do something, but I won't do the thing I want. All right. How is it that of all the trucks I've driven, Blue Thunders has the body that's in the that has most of his body still intact? Like that is amazing to me. Bodies I've driven today. Blue Thunders is the one that has the most body intact. I don't know how I did that. That was insane that I was able to keep most of Blue Thunder's body slow, solely intact. Anyway. Anaheim 2, yes. Which truck should I do for Anaheim 2? Which one have I. Is there a trick that I haven't done yet? I have to. In all honesty, it wouldn't be freestyle without Mr. Extreme Jim Kohler. Like, I've seen all the world files. He's, there's a lot of world files where he has a crazy moments in freestyle. Like, he's had, like, crazy wrecks, crazy air, and a wreck. Crazy air of the broken tire. And not to mention, his body designs in the World Finals are legit awesome. And it's going to be sad that when the day comes out, he hangs up his, uh, rest, his, uh, his, his boots and his, it's going to be sad that when, it's going to be sad when he has to, he has to hang up. His monster jam gear. Good thing his son is here to uh, keep the family go thing alive. Oh, I already lost this hood. Lost this hood already. Okay, Jim Cole is by is not holding up. Right. 
That had to hurt. Anyway, I'm gonna let them do the celebration. I need to check on something real quick. Anyway, and I'm two freestyle. Yes. There we go. I think we're gonna stick with arenas from here on out. Honestly, the arenas look way easier to drive in. Not the arenas, the uh, big circuits. They gave me more room to uh, like uh, operate in. And more obstacles to hit in freestyle. Yes. Don't hit the wall. I don't want to lose body parts immediately. I at least want to obtain one body part. There's a minute left in this run. And I just destroyed most of my body just for the minute into the play. I just destroyed most of his body with one touch of the ground. That was a stoppy, not a wheelie. But did you guys see that new Spider-Man? Did you see you guys see the Spider-Man 2 launch trailer? Woo! A lot of stuff is happening in that. A lot of stuff is happening in that one. I can tell you that. Now we need to do a cycle. We want to do it. We got to do it Team Extreme style. Cyclone into a stopping. That's awkward. I landed right on, I tried to do a front flip, but I landed right on the lid. That would have hurt. In the comments below, guys, fans of Monster Jam, tell me what is your favorite Monster Jam World Finals Avenger body style design? Honestly, for me, I may have not been around, like, I probably won't remember it, but I've seen highlights of it. It would have to be the chrome body, where he lost a sway bar, he got up in the air, he literally jumped so high in the air, landed on his side, rolled back on his lid, it's like, how did that truck land back on its lid? It had to take a miracle for the truck to not literally destroy itself. Ooh, Indianapolis, I haven't done Indianapolis yet. Then we got, we did Defenders. Sure, why not? Let's do Ryan's truck. Ryan Anderson. This truck is not... This truck does not run on Hooligan Racing. This truck is not run by Hooligan Racing. I expected a new body design to commemorate 10 years of Son of a Digger. Instead, all we got was a uh, Hooligan... A hooligan, a hooligan racing sticker on the hood. 
I expected a lot more. Honestly. Like, I would like to see Ryan Anderson. Honestly, I would like to see Ryan Anderson, like, change his body style a little bit. Like, honestly, I think he's had the same body style ever since he debuted. Uh, like, he's... I'll show you. We got time, it's two wheels. See, he's got all the same trucks here. He's got... He's got his dash truck, Grave Digger, the original Grave Digger, the Mud Bog, Avenger, the Legend, Grave Digger, the Legend, Max D, Ultra Loco. Let's see who else is on here. Oh, we got Blue Thunder. Like, Ryan, if you're here, Ryan, if you're hearing this, change up, change up a bit. Now that you're sponsored by Hoonigan, why not change the, the skull? That it looks like it's in a tornado. Have your skull wear a bandana. A torn up bandana. That says Hoonigan Racing. It's a thought. That wasn't my idea. I actually saw, um, I was on Instagram one day. I saw this guy who loves making edits. Like, he loves making a bot. This guy loves making truck this body designs and that's where I saw the uh, Hoonigan Racing son of a digger body for that could have been a great way to uh, give Ryan and Anderson and son of a digger a whole new look also I still remember the day Ryan Anderson debuted in this truck it was insane it was at the world finals it was an encore he comes out, he's doing a lot of crazy jumps. There's a backflip. Last thing he does, I think he rolls it over. Next thing I know, he, he, he's already a champion. I, he's already a champion. I think he's a high jump champion. He will have been racing champion, but a, dri a Grave Digger driver had other ideas. There's a Grave Digger driver called Brandon Vincent. Like, he, he, it was a mud-filled track. He was able to pull up a nice racing win. Like, it's amazing. Yeah, mud is not easy to drive in, so... I give props to that. Whew. Awesome. Oh, his helmet even looks cool. Man! Why do all monster truck drivers have? Why does this monster jam truck have such a cool hat? Anyway, let's do freestyle. Indianapolis. I'm literally just goofing off. If you couldn't tell. I, I, I'm going to do stuff that makes me happy. After those data battles, they wiped me out. But now I'm over the data battles. I don't. <coughs> I don't know if I'll ever return to those data battles because they caused me immense pain and turmoil. And they made me lose my voice a few times. So. Oh. Oh crap, that's not how I wanted it to go. Look at that, Ryan Anderson. Go make it proud, boy. Look at this big air. Make it proud, buddy. See that save? I already lost it. Man, I already lost the most of his hood. I'll be honest though. If I were to choose some of the Grave Diggers, one of the Grave Digger drivers, Ryan Anderson's truck has to have the coolest design. Like I love the front I love the uh, like the headlights he chose. The headlights that he chose for his truck are radical. If I were to get the chance to meet Ryan Anderson one day. I'll tell him, dude, dude, I'm gonna say your truck is the coolest out of the bunch. 
I would do that if I would ever meet him, but I don't know if I'll ever meet him, honestly. Because I'm not well known yet. Honestly, I'm not doing this for Fable Fortune or anything. I'm just doing this because I want to share my fun and try. I want to share my fun. Like, this is fun. Here, Ryan Anderson, I'm going to show you a little new trick. Neil Elliott did this one year. No, no, no. I'm going to, if I'm going to talk about Ryan, if I'm going to talk about Ryan Anderson, I'm going to get this truck to victory lane. <sighs> I'm going to get him to win. No ands and ors or buts. Oh, we're already starting out crazy. Now look at the front end of that truck. Isn't that not awesome? Don't tell me I lost it. Alright, let's try this front flip again! Oh, that was a 180 that I had no intention of. That was a nice 180, I meant that. Time for. See that, Ryan? I make you proud, buddy. I'm not gonna let you down. You want a fact? Let's do it. Oh, come on. Come on. I wonder if I can do a fuse and make all three of these trucks, all three trucks I took screenshots of into a thumbnail. Well, maybe I could take one more and make it like a whole collage. And... Boop! There we go. Go there, I got go, go there, I got a picture, I got a chance. Oh, no, 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 I'm not giving up until Ryan Anderson's truck is in victory lane. Oh, I've lost a hood.
All right, time for my favorite. The reverse flip of awesomeness. That sucked. Do that again. There we go. There we go. Donut time. Got the cyclone. There we go. I got son of a digger in the victory lane. I can go, I can sleep well tonight knowing that I put Ryan Anderson in the victory lane. Yes, Ryan Anderson, take a nice long look at this crowd because you know that thanks to Lord Matintosh and his determination to get you to the. Ooh. I... Oh, I don't think I did Arlington yet. Did I do Arlington? I don't think I did Arlington yet. Whiplash, I haven't seen Whiplash in a while. I already did Whiplash a few times. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna say this about Alien Invasion. There was a truck, a marble truck called Iron Man, not the current Iron Man. Not the current Iron Man monster truck, monster truck that Basically, it is a, a return to the Marvel series, the Monster Jam. Iron Man looked like this. When I saw Alien Evasion in this game, I was like, that's Iron Man. That is uh, no doubt the Iron Man body design. Like, I know recently it was competing in the Monster Jam Arena series. I'm trying to think, what was the guy's name? Bernard something. I'm gonna look up his name real quick on Instagram. Real quick on Instagram. Hold on a second. I I know the guy's name. Bernard Light. He's a monster truck driver. He drives now Spider-Man. Also, he used to. He does a thing where he he drives. He could do backflips. Like not not a backflip. Whoa. He could do like back. Like he could do a backflip without having to jump off a platform or anything. Like you could do it standing. In all honesty, like I have a personal Instagram. One day I commented on a post of his saying congratulations or something. Or I think it was something about the fact that I posted something Monster Jam related. And I think he actually liked and commented it, or maybe a comment that he liked and he commented on the comment. I don't know. All I know is this truck is an iron, basically an Iron Man, but they recycle, they, they recycle, Monster Champ sometimes recycles their body designs for other trucks, so. You gotta get props to Monster Jam. They don't, you gotta get props to Monster Jam. They don't let, Old bodies go to waste. Shake a booty, shake a booty. Watch this. Right, right, right. All I need is one more big move and I'll capture, take this home to alien invasion.
Oh, the alien invasion helmet. I remember it was such a cool design. Like, it actually had the alien over the visor of the truck. And that honestly is a cool design. So I will do like a few more. Uh, after this, I will do a few more. And then I'm going to call it an episode. Because, um, yeah. Basically, basically, I'll call it. I'll do a few more, and I'll call it an episode. Cause this is a fun, this is an action-packed, fun-filled episode. That I'm proud of. Cause I'm doing the thing I've loved since I was a child. Like I've loved it since I was a child. Come on, there's some some things people do not love that when they were a child, and when they return to it, they end up loving it. For example. Some people probably still like. Some people probably like doing the word searches and made it back because. Come on, this is a big UFO. Alien invasion is a UFO. You're not expected to do some extraterrestrial stunts once in a while. Out. Do a mask. That's I really need to get in contact with my friends. And talk to them about this whole mask situation. Why well, wanna why well, would I just want to retire this mask? Reveal my face to the world to you guys. I don't want it to be on my own terms. I wanted to discuss it. I want to discuss it. With people that I know I can trust. Anyway. Anyway, time for some Lunar Cyclones! Oh, I didn't see the little official right there at first. I didn't know there was an official right there. is victorious. Gotta love every minute of every moment of my entire freaking life. What the heck is letterboxed? Anyway, like, uh, let's see here. What's uh, one more arena I could possibly do? Ow! Stupid friggin' mask! This mask is the death of me. Then we'll start with Las Vegas. We'll end it in Orlando. If I lost, no. There, the Lord. Thank the Lord. Crustacean. I, I haven't seen crustacean in a while on the Monster Jam circuit. I don't know if it's is, is crustacean still a part of Monster Jam. I don't remember. I honestly don't know. I don't think crustacean is part of Monster Jam anymore. I don't think. Because I haven't been able to watch Monster, Monster Jam because Monster Jam isn't on TV anymore. Monster Jam is like, I think solely on streaming services or something. I don't know. What kind of intro song is that? It was that tr what?
Anyway, I got. I want. I want to get this default. The the the, th the thing said something. McLaughlinSeafood.com. I got. I gotta see if that's real. Is that real? Oh my god, it's, it, it's a real place. Holy crap. That's a real friggin' place. Ooh, it doesn't look too shabby. Looks like a small, looks like a small seafood, looks like a seafood place. Of course it's a seafood place. Crustacean. Oh, so close. So freaking close. I can taste it. I can taste the nice grilled salmon right in front of my plate. Right in front of me. Nope. I guess I gotta get that grilled salmon in freestyle. Freestyle. Anyway. Ready to do this? Three, two, one. Hell to the yeah. Oh, this, this, the steam for crusta, the steam for this crustacean. Wait, what? What does the truck say? Crush station. Okay, I was, I was. No, I didn't. I did not want to start with the beacons. That's cheating. That's cheating. What the hell? That's a backflip? I already lost Christy. I already lost half of Crustacean's body. What is that? Oh, come on! That was a freaking corkscrew! Yes, that was a corkscrew! Right, but I want to do a reverse. I need to turn the wheel a little bit. Time to 
Top four. Some crazy donuts. Bask in my glory. Anyway, time for the last one. In Orlando. Question is, what truck do I want to choose? Do I want Max... Want well, Max D? No, no, no. We start out with Max D. It won't be fair to end it with Max D. Stone Crusher. Like a stone crusher. I remember Steven Steve Sims drove the truck. There's one freestyle where he lost his entire front wheel drive. Like I think some gave out in it. He still put on an amazing run and he was able to save it without any front wheel drive or anything. It was amazing in every way, shape, and form. Will. So then I'll wow the crowd. No! We're not... <laughs> not gonna end it with him getting wrecked. On a wreck. Right now, ah, I'm getting Stone Crusher that win. I will get Stone Crusher that win in freestyle. That is a cold cut promise. Time to end this one on a high note. I'm ready.
That hurt. Okay, it's not bad I'm using beacons. Yes, yes. No, no. Oh, boy. That was a corkscrew. We're gonna end it out. End it out like this. One more f freaking picture for the road. Thank you, everyone. Mwah, 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 mwah. Anyway, that is where I'm going to leave it here. Man, that was a fun-filled episode of Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. Once again, visiting my childhood in a nutshell. So, um, thank you all so much for joining me. If you are a fan of this video and you got enough of Lord Matintosh, go ahead and give it a slap of God to the thumbs up button. If you give the slap of God to the thumbs up button, the thumbs up button will recommend this video to any Monster Jam fans, or if there's any fan by that likes Monster Trucks, Monster Truck games, or something like that. If you're a fan of this video and you got enough of Lord Matintosh, but you want more Lord Matintosh, go ahead and, uh, and uh, give the slap of God to the th subscribing bell. If you give us the slap of God, if you give the thumbs up button, if you get the subscribe and bell, the slap of God, you can notify when I release a video like this one right here. So, thank you all so much for watching, and until we meet again, bye!